How's it going everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 102 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the pattern storage block from Industrial Craft 2. So this machine works hand in hand with a replicator and a scanner to actually store the different types of recipes that you have for your UU. So the user interface for this is a little confusing I've noticed. Um, here is going to be the actual item. So if we actually take a look at one, if we import one from a crystal that's already done, like so, we can click save and save it to this crystal. And if we go ahead and pop that in there, we can import it from the crystal. And in there you can see that we have Iridium Ore is the name. The UU Matter is going to take 22 buckets. And then the power in EU is going to take, I think that's a million. So um, that's kind of the user interface for it. you got to actually have some stuff in there for it to kind of make some sense. So the recipe for this machine is three reinforced stone. Now you get this from a CF sprayer now. Uh, you have to use some iron scaffolding and then spray the CF foam with the CF sprayer and backpack onto the iron scaffolding to actually get reinforced stone now. There's no recipe anymore. Uh, it's two crystal memories, which don't have a recipe as well, and that's because you have to make the raw memory first and then cook it. An advanced machine casing, advanced circuit, and then two mining lasers. So this machine does not require power, much like the other two machines it works pretty closely with. So here I just have a uh, solar panel, an MFE, and then a scanner. So whenever I would actually put, let's say, some iridium in here, if I spelt it right, there we go. So if I threw this in the scanner, and then whenever you actually give it some crystal memory, like right here, whenever it gets finished, it takes a while, so we're not going to wait on it. We'll go over this in the scanner, but it'll actually save it in there, and then you can take that disk and then put it into the pattern storage, and it will work perfectly. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions about the pattern storage, definitely leave it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, our rating would be very much appreciated. And subscribe, as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.